when there's no substitute for sheer size. The Hyundai i800 eight-seater people carrier might well be the last name to be crossed off your shortlist. Unlike virtually all other large MPVs, it can take eight people and all their luggage. And for a price that'll surprise you. Big and clever then, a strong combination. If you regularly transport seven people, then you'll already know that most large seven-seater people carriers have one pretty large disadvantage. With all the seats being used, you can't transport much luggage, which isn't much use unless you're carrying a party of penniless refugees fleeing from an oppressive dictator. And that's why uh, some larger families and uh, some businesses regularly needing to transport clients often need to look at something bigger, something like this. Hyundai's i800. Such vehicles offer a whole different world from something espace or galaxy sized. It isn't just the provision of eight rather than seven seats, but the fact that behind these chairs there's room enough for everyone's luggage without resorting to trailers or roof boxes, and that makes all the difference. Now, van based contenders from Volkswagen and Mercedes have traditionally ruled the roost in this sector, but charged very heavily in doing so. A perfect opportunity then for a more value oriented approach, likely to be well received by families and fleet managers alike, which is exactly what this Hyundai claims to offer. Let's check it out. Like its competitors, the i800 is based on a van. Anything with this much space inside really has to be which of course will temper your expectations somewhat when it comes to the driving experience on offer. What, you wonder, might it be like trying to maneuver a vehicle over five meters long and weighing well over three tons? Could it really be a realistic day-to-day -day proposition? The answer, you might be surprised to hear, is yes. And the reasons for that impress themselves upon you in the first half mile that you spend behind the wheel. Yes, it's big, but you sit higher up in command of a huge glass area and uh, parking's aided by uh, standard reversing sensors. So unless you're a very nervous sort or you're trying to maneuver around somewhere very tight, you quickly forget that this Hyundai is anything out of the ordinary at all in terms of its bulk. There's even a reasonably tight 5.6 meter turning circle. There are a few changes you'll need to occasionally make to your motoring routine, of course. You learn to avoid multi-storey car parts with low ceilings, and as I discovered recently, you get lumped in with all the vans and coaches on the channel tunnel. But aside from that, it's all very car-like, as is the performance from the 170 PS 2.5 litre diesel engine. With 392 newton metres of torque, it never feels sluggish even with a full complement of passengers on board. And uh, it's all accessible via this rather long throw five speed manual gearbox. But uh, with a triple digit top speed, you're never going to be embarrassed for pace, even when fully loaded at high motorway speeds. As for refinement, well, it certainly isn't the quietest diesel I've ever tried. But then if you've got seven chattering passengers on board, then you probably won't notice that anyway. And around the corners, well, if you uh, drive sensibly, this car will behave sensibly. To be fair to the South Korean designers, they didn't simply chuck a set of seats in their iLoad van. They did actually go out and develop a purpose-designed coal-sprung rear suspension system, especially for this model, with five locating links to ensure for optimum uh, road holding and maneuverability for a vehicle of this type. There's something very satisfying about owning and using a vehicle thoroughly fit for purpose. One exactly like this. The i800 started life as Hyundai's iLoad van and the sheer size of it reflects this. Park it outside your neighbor's house and you could soon get a knock on the door asking you to move the thing because it's blocking their light. Long, wide and heavy, this car makes no concessions to its roots. Uh, the 5,125 millimetres of length makes it longer than a Mercedes S-Class and the 1,925 millimetres of height is just as noticeable. Which is exactly why it can offer its owners so much space. Even with all eight seats in use, there's 581 litres of luggage space, almost twice as much as some estate cars. 
Less impressive is the fact that when you're not carrying people and you simply want baggage room, you can't fold the second or third seating rows or easily remove them unless you resort to some complicated spanner work. Still, all is forgiven when you've got a car full of people. Access is by sliding doors each side so your offspring won't be re-sculpting the bodywork of adjacent cars when they hurl themselves out into the supermarket car park. Enter in and you reach a world of space that really does make something Renault Espace or Ford Galaxy size seem hopelessly compromised. To give you some idea of just how big it is in here, the South Korean market offers a 12-seater version of this vehicle, but that really would be a squash. With eight of you inside though, it really isn't. Behind the pair of seats up front, there are two 60-40 split benches, each capable of accommodating three adults in comfort with uncompromised head and legroom. Now this middle row is able to slide backwards or forwards, so you can adjust your own legroom entitlement or the, that of those behind. And all the seats recline for greater comfort on longer journeys. Even in the third seating row, easy to get to even for elderly passengers, the largest occupants will be comfortable on the longest journeys. And for all on board, the ambience is far more car-like than other minibus style arrivals with two-tone interior trim, rear privacy glass, a uh, six-speaker audio system and ducted air conditioning throughout. Plus individually controllable overhead vents ensure that everyone can keep their cool. Up front, though the steering wheel is only rake up and down adjustable, your captain's chair offers a comfortable and commanding perch and there's a smart metallic finish to the centre console. Storage space is plentiful and you've got uh, door bins that are practically sized and uh, decently spacious so that you can actually store things in. Other manufacturers take note. I find it hard to think of another vehicle that enjoys such a value advantage over its competitors as this one. Given that uh, most German rivals like Volkswagen's Transporter Shuttle or variations of um, Mercedes Vito require budgets up and over the £30,000 mark, Hyundai's pricing for this i800 at around the £21,000 mark is truly impressive. That kind of money wouldn't even buy you an entry-level version of a Ford Galaxy, a significantly smaller MPV. Even the biggest conventional people carriers, Chrysler's Grand Voyager or Renault's Grand Espace, for example, can't offer eight seats. So in many ways, the i800 has this market to itself, unless you're prepared to pay the many thousands of pounds extra needed for something like a Volkswagen Transporter Shuttle, which makes the purchase of that eighth seat a very expensive one indeed. For the UK market, Hyundai focuses on the 170 PS 2.5 litre diesel manual model that I've been looking at here and loads it with plenty of equipment. Air conditioning with second row controls, uh, power front windows and mirrors, a heated driver's seat and a decent quality six speaker MP3 compatible CD stereo with AUX and USB connectivity uh, are all standard along with uh, rear privacy glass, front fog lamps, alloy wheels and reversing sensors. Safety wise, you only get two front airbags, but ESP stability control is included, as is ABS with electronic brake force distribution, traction control, and Isofix child seat fastenings for the second row. Now, if you need a vehicle this big for your family duties, then it's probably fair to assume that your brood isn't exactly cheap to run, and that any savings made on transport will come in very welcome. Good news then that uh, despite its torquey performance, the 2.5 litre diesel engine uh, returns a decent 33.2 miles per gallon combined cycle fuel return. Um, and uh, that means that with a 75 litre tank, an i800 driver could go up to 560 miles between fill-ups. Emissions aren't especially saintly at uh, 225 grams per kilometre of CO2, unless you divide them by the number of people you're carrying in which case this starts to look very good indeed. Um, insurance group uh, is uh, 31 and there's the usual long five-year high-end warranty. I used to think that large Galaxy or Espace-sized MPVs were pretty practical things. Then I tried this one. 
Even if you don't use all of its eight seats, there are plenty of occasions where its sheer size will come in useful. The i800 is, you see, the answer to every large family's transportation prayers. Though it'd be even better if you could remove or flatten the seating more easily when not in use, even as it stands, this Hyundai is a flexible family solution and manages to be so at a fraction of the price demanded by German rivals. Size matters, and if you want proof, you'll find it right here.